Are you new to data analysis and data science and have had burning questions? Don't worry, in this video, I'll be answering some frequently asked questions by beginners. A quick disclaimer, I'll be keeping my answers short and sweet to avoid making this video too lengthy. The first question is, what is data analysis and why is it important? Data analysis is a process of inspecting, cleaning, transforming and visualizing data to discover useful information, draw conclusions and support decision making. It involves examining raw data to extract insights and make informed decisions. It is crucial because it helps understand trends, patterns and relationships within the data which can guide strategic actions and improve outcomes or improve decision making. The second question is, what is data science? Data science is a multidisciplinary field that uses scientific methods, processes, algorithms and systems to extract knowledge and insights from structured and unstructured data. What is the difference between data analysis and data science? Data analysis primarily focuses on examining data to derive insights and make informed decisions. On the other hand, data science encompasses a broader spectrum. It incorporates elements of data analysis but also involves things like machine learning, predictive modeling and advanced statistical techniques to extract deeper insights and drive actionable outcomes. In summary, data analysis is like taking a snapshot or a picture of an area while data science is exploring the whole landscape within that area, not just focusing on a particular region. What skills do I need to become proficient in data analysis? Essential skills for data analysis includes curiosity, critical thinking, problem solving, attention to details and familiarity with statistical methods and also technical skills like proficiency in Excel, Tableau, Power BI, Python, R and other data analysis tools is very important. Do I need a degree in data science to get started? While a degree can be helpful, it is not always necessary. Many online courses, boot camps and resources are available to learn the necessary skills. Explore platforms like Coursera, Udemy, Datacamp, consider joining forums like Stack Overflow or Reddit for support and guidance. The free data science roadmap playlist on my channel is a good place to start and I'll be linking it somewhere up there. Make sure you go watch it. Do I need to be good at maths to do data analysis? While a basic understanding of maths is helpful, you don't need to be a maths genius to get started with data analysis. Many tools and software packages handle the complex calculations automatically and resources are available to learn necessary math concepts or mathematical concepts gradually. What is the difference between descriptive and inferential statistics? Descriptive statistics summarizes and describes the main feature of the data sets. While inferential statistics draw conclusions or make predictions about a population based on the sample. Example of descriptive could be mean, median, variance, standard deviation. How do I choose the right data analysis techniques for my project? Consider factors such as the type of data you have, e.g. is it numeric or categorical, the research questions you are trying to answer and the objective of your analysis. Start with more straightforward techniques and gradually explore more complex methods as needed. I plan to make a video on the different types of data visualization and when and how to use them. Watch out for that video and now is a good time to subscribe and turn on the notification for this channel so you'll be alerted when I release that video. How can I gain practical experience in data analysis and data science? One way is to work on real world projects or participate in competitions like Kaggle or other competition platforms. Where can I find data set to practice data analysis? There are many online platforms like Kaggle, UCI Machine Learning Repository and data.gov that offers wide range of data sets for practice for free. 
Additionally, you can create your own data set by collecting data from sources like surveys, websites, or public APIs. What are some common mistakes to avoid in data analysis? Common mistakes include overlooking quality issues, your data quality issues, quality is very important, using inappropriate analysis techniques, misinterpreting results, and failing to communicate your findings effectively. It is essential to validate all your assumptions, double check your calculations, use the right visualization, and seek feedback from your mentors or your colleagues. You can also watch out my video on common mistakes to avoid in data analysis. I'll leave a link in the description and up there so that you can click and watch after this one. How can I improve my data visualization skills? Practice creating various charts and graphs using tools like Excel or Python libraries like Matplotlib or Siblon or Arrow tools are also data visualization platforms like Tableau or Power BI. Aim for clarity, simplicity, and relevance in conveying your message. Additionally, researching and studying other visualizations can provide valuable insights into practical design principles and techniques. Analyze visualization from repeatable source. Remember, effective visualization goes beyond aesthetics. It's about conveying complex information in a simple, understandable, and impactful manner. I hope my answers to these questions has provided valuable insight and guidance for those of us just starting our journey in data-related role. Remember, practice, perseverance, and dedication are key to mastering the skills. Thanks for joining, and until next time, stay motivated. Bye, see you on the next one.